Well, welcome everybody to our uh, my regular Thursday night 7K business uh, training and development Zoom. Uh, it's a Zoom that we're going to get together, and you can have guests on here because we have an open kimono business. We have no secrets. Everything's there. Everything's in open. No no hooks, no crooks. Uh, they join and they find out something's different than what they thought. We do not have that kind of business. And so we, we encourage you to have people to learn how we train the business and how we look at the business, even after a person's in. Uh, we're three and a half years old, of course, and I expect you to have a have, guess to have watched the, what I call the executive summary presentation of our business. That's the 7K Wealth Strategies video. It's not quite 18 minutes, but that's a very good presentation and a, an executive summary of the business. Uh, a better one is the one I pulled together and had uh, our video people splice them together. And that's our 7K Wealth Strategies, how we get paid to share and some income testimonies all attached and that's 24 minutes. Not quite as long as the old VHS videos that we had to watch well over an hour when we were doing our business. Well, welcome, welcome. Tonight uh, on our business development training session, I'm going to uh, talk specifically about a tool that is gonna help you in, build, in sharing your business and getting new business partners in with, it'll help you what I call revive the debt, okay? Because in most cases in network marketing, People say, well, you forget about reviving the debt. Well, I found in this business with 7K, this is a business, the only business, I used to teach that too, don't worry about reviving. But in this business, you can revive the debt, trust me, okay? And, uh, and, and you can do it using this tool and using this tool properly, okay? And so you've got an extremely valuable tool. 7K presents so much information in the back office that no network marketing in history has ever done because they just didn't want the people to know all the details about the business. Well, let me share my screen and get right to it and tell you why and the tool that we're gonna talk about tonight. And so I'm gonna to go to my, my, my back office, my website. I'm gonna put our, my controls down here at the bottom so we can do things. And we're going to look, yep, and we're gonna, I'm gonna log out of this sucker and I'm gonna show you we're in Bob Reed's back office. It says DDD and so we know that, but we're gonna go to the dashboard right off the bat. And so it's April 13th. Our coin drop was completely sold out. Those, those rare and exclusive limited produced coins that now if anybody wants those or anybody wants to add them to their Looney Tunes collections or their, their Disney collections or their uh, uh, ju just their newismatic coin collecting sets, they can only get it from people who own them. And guess what? The seven Kers like you and me, we own the majority of them to sell. Uh, uh, so let's get right with it. As you see, uh, it's going to give you a quick summary of what your business is for the current week. And it gives you a, a, a kind of a forecast of what, what, your, what your upcoming income might be like uh, in, with one aspect. Okay, and that's people buying those coins of the month on that auto ship. Either that basic state series collection or that variety collection or that specialty coin. So it's basic coin is 15 points for every person that buys it. And that keeps their lights on, it keeps them active. It keeps points in their counters and points are dollars. Real, real simple, points are dollars, okay? And so uh, as you see on my left side, I still have 59,319 points. So that's, I've got a bank account with 59,000 over. My job is to pull it out. Okay, so I don't need to do a lot of work on that side. I just need to make sure I'm helping, supporting, answering questions, and uh, for my for the, the the teammates and team members and their team members on my left side. So that's my left team. Now my right team is growing rapidly, and 
basically, if you look at my business, the way I look at it, and it's using tools like this is how you're able to treat your business like big business. And I don't care if you only make a $500 check every other month. It, it's the same principles apply. But learning these principles before your business gets big, and then you say, well, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know where it's where, where's what? I don't, I, 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 I don't. You know, or you miss out on a $3,500 check because you didn't have one active. Uh-oh, now that's pretty cool. No, that's pretty bad. <laughs> and so you got to learn how to use the tools, okay? So not only do you have to have the skills, attitudes, and techniques, the SATs, to build a business, you must learn how to use the tools. Okay, well, let's look at Bob's business. I think this is Thursday. We're not quite finished. Well, I started off Thursday morning this morning. Some were around 2,800 points. <laughs> it's 4,925 points. Wow. That means basically I, I'm going to get a $5,000 check, right? Okay. So, because, I mean, it's just Thursday. Do you think it's going to stay stagnant right there? I know not. <laughs> Uh, and how do I know that? Ah, using these tools. Well, this also gives me an ability to look into the future a little bit. Uh, I, I look with the basic size of my organization. Uh, I have about 2,000 points coming in on the first day of every month. And that's for people buying the coin of the month. So I have 135 people on the right side in that team buying the coin of the month on the auto shipper, because that's the only way the points get forecasted here. And I have 113 people. Looks like that right side's growing faster with people signing up uh, on that auto shipper. Well, a lot of people over here sometimes buy their own and they, they control when they buy it and they're not really on the auto shipper. That's what I've come to find. Okay. But I didn't know that in the beginning, but I found out at, by using tools. Okay, well, on the eighth of every month, right now, basically I have, boy, whoo, has this changed, okay? Uh, uh, I have, but you can say I got a $2,000 check coming in for just points on the first week. I've got a $500 check coming in on the second week. I've got a $500 check coming in on the third week. I've got a $500 check on the fourth week, a $500 check on the last week, the fifth week. And we know there's not five weeks. Guess what? Many times two of these fall in one week. <laughs> and so that you have double points. So that means that there one week, there's going to be a thousand or $1,500 check there. So basically I built up to a very good base income that's significant in, in many cases over three and a half years. But it's actually more than this because see what it doesn't include, it doesn't include renewals and it doesn't include new people joining the business in the team, anywhere in the team. And so are people being placed down from above into the team? And that can only happen on my left side, okay? Uh, for me, for new people getting placed into my business other than my team members, and that comes up to me. Okay, so this is a very good handle on forecasting what your income is, but that's not the tool that I want to share tonight. Look at what I said. This, and, and uh, just real briefly, you know, uh, to, to give you an account, your accounting is where your bank account is. And, you know, I tell people like, yeah, fortunately, I've earned 41500 year to date. Now, that's pretty good income, y'all. I've got 4000 yet to be put, earned last week to be put in to this check, this bank account. So basically, I still have about 25000 there. And what you're going to see, too, real quick is, I've made some pretty significant orders because I've been buying gold and silver and they, they come out shipped out of my, out of my bank account. So I don't, I, I paid the least amount for it. What I mean by that, I've been buying. Y'all see that? That's not a silver coin, y'all. That's one ounce American Eagle 
gold coin. <laughs> and I've got that one ounce buffalo that I just got the other day. I think I showed everybody. Uh, but that's still not. But the tools that you get, you get your own receipts, you get your own counting done, and you get to check everything out. It's easy to see. And you send them an email if there's something that you didn't think, but it didn't, I didn't order that or did that. You just send them a sick email to support, or you use the chat function to report it right away and then get into talking to support and, and get your problem solved up front real quick. Don't let it. Don't let it linger. Okay, what do I want to talk about? It's this thing called the downline, the downline explorer. And so this tells you everything about your business, everybody. Now, when you click on this downline explorer, like I just did, mine churns a little bit. Yours may go pretty quick to it, but mine churns a little bit to it because, see, I always, it, it gives you default only actives. Now, actives are mostly people who are signed up for the auto shipper, okay? Or they just joined and they're automatically active. But I always tell people, click on the inactive, okay? And now it's going to tell you how many people you got in your business, okay? And you'll see that number right up there at the top. And that's the size of your team on your left side and your right side. You want to see how many on your right side? You just click on right side only and you got about, on mine, I got 627. On my left side over here, I got 417. So, oh, ah, now I need to start thinking about working on my left side again pretty soon. Okay, that's what that told me. But I got money in the bank still over there, $59,000, right? But it doesn't matter. It gives me a warning sign that I need to start working on. And I've been working over there. I've been working over there with my partners and making sure and talking. I've been doing some follow-ups and doing some contact. been working with them because I'm interested in their success. If I help them get what they want, then I'm afforded everything I want, okay? So here, here's the key. How do you use this? Oh, everybody says, well, I just don't understand. That's a bunch of whole names, a hundred circles, a bunch of stuff. I just can't understand it. Well, if we start with that kind of attitude, you'll never understand it. You start step by step. What is important to you in your business? What's important to you is these questions up here. Is the first control you have on your business is the number of personal actives you have in your business because that determines your rank and if you're going to fall out of rank, and that's very, very important. And so on my right side, I've got here uh, my personals that I've sponsored, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was thinking, say, I got to have eight because you can, can't be gold. Now, guess what? If I only had seven, either I'm going to help a person get active or I'm going to make one of my membership purchases on one of my membership non-income producing uh, uh, memberships. And that's what those are, okay? So when I need an active, I buy a coin, okay? If I need 15 points or 20 points or 40 points, hmm, that's what I use these for. Well, and then I look at my left side and I count up my actors and I see what's important, really important, is to see that's your control of your actors. If you happen to fall in rank, that's the first place you go, first place you look at. The another thing I really, really like about this is it tells me who is renewing soon. Now, these are the people that's going to be coming up renewing. And so I'm going to look on the right side. And do y'all know my little my little work list right here? You see this little work list of names? I got dates and names there. Now we know that we don't have an automatic renewal on the actual date. Now, I'm going to give you an example. 
let's take, well, that's XX is, uh, this is right side only. Let me look at, well, he's still there. Hmm. Okay, Cheryl Smith enrolled Scott Taylor. Scott Taylor enrolled on May 18th, 2019. So he comes available on June, 2020. So we're in April right now. So I'm, it's pointing me up. The reason I tell you, you wanna start making a list is because what they do is they fall off the list past this date, one year, they fall off. They're not on this list here anymore. Okay, and I came to find that out. Okay, and so what I do is I, I look through this list and I, I click on their names like that and I get the actual date that they will automatically renew and that'd be June 1st. But the date they could have renewed was May 11th where we're not quite there, but they can renew any time. And so I'm going to be in contact with Jim who enrolled Jeff, okay? And so, because this is Jeff's that I'm looking at. And so I'm going to be in contact, coordinate with Jim that he and Jeff need to be talking so they can just go in any time into his profile and uh, where it says membership and click on that renew now button and it's automatic and it extends his membership a year from his renewal date not the date that he clicked on it if he's supposed to renew a month later then it extended from that month later year it never changes your renewal date it's always renewed in a year from year from that original date that you signed up okay and those points would post and he could turn a check and He's going to be renew anyway, so that's a good thing. So I get people to talk with the people that they sponsor, coordinate, and try and come out and help your upline, because your upline is the one that's looking at theirs, and, and and you know if it works out, it works out, and just try and be as accommodative and talk and work as a team in that respect. So what I'm going to do is go down here at the bottom because that's that's the latest. And some of these that I got on my list have already fell off this list. The reason you'll see is today is April 16th. This is April 18th. Okay, two days from now, that person it, it, it would, would renew, but it's not going to be automatic. If they don't renew themselves in their back office in coordination with their sponsor or upline talking to them about that, then what's going to happen come May 1st, the company will run everybody that was supposed to renew in April and didn't on their own. It's going to run an automatic renewal program and everybody's going to renew at the same time. Now, which, which day do you have the highest points on your auto shipper coin? The first, because that's the default date. And now you got all your renewals running. So you might have a lot of points go through your counter. So you want to train, you want to teach and train your group not to get everything on the first and start how to change dates, even on your auto shipper and when to do it and how to do it. I've given specific trainings on that and we'll revisit it from time to time. But tonight I want to stick on the downline explorer and how it's used and how we use it. And this is just an overview. I'll give more details on each segment that's important later. Uh, but you've got to click on the name and you learn a lot, you know, who sponsored who and what kind of auto saver, like there, this person, on a, he gets the gold coin every month. There's 30 points, okay? And, and, and it tells what kind of, membership they're going to renew if it's a premium a standard or standard plus and what they're signed up to renew for and so that's what i have on my list i have their name i have the date that they are supposed to renew and i have the points beside it okay now uh sometimes for the standard plus i'll i'll put a little uh question mark 
in parentheses because when they renew, they may may they may, may want to renew for the premium instead of the standard plus. Pay that little bit of extra and get a whole bunch more for it. Now they've been a member, or they may want to drop down. They just like the membership benefits, and they they're, they they want may want to just drop down to a standard, the one ninety nine. Uh, but it's something that you discuss between the individuals, and that's an individual choice. Okay. Main thing is staying in the business, okay? Uh, and keeping active and collecting the points. Okay, so this is how we look and how I combine this with my little notes here. And I check this section once at the beginning of the week, once in the middle of the week, and once before the end as I am talking to people that I need to talk to on my little list. And who do I call? I normally call their sponsor or that person that's the first upline associate that they have somebody that they sponsored their renewals in that time because that team is supposed to be talking together, okay? And figuring out what's best for them. Okay, now, uh, once, we, once, once, I, once I've done that, uh, I, that's why I coordinate that with my front coins, and then I know how many renewal. The thing I never know is how many new people are coming in that week. We we set goals in our teams and different teams, and some teams are much more active at it than other teams. But that's also added, and I call that land yap. You know, in land in Louisiana, we call thing extra is land yap, where that's. That's kind of like I'm experiencing today uh, when I started out with 2,800 and something points, and now it's almost 5,000, 49,975 or whatever. Uh, that's land yet, right? Okay, now let's go back up here at the top. Now, sometimes I'll unclick the, and just look at my actives. Okay, because I know they're, they're a little bit more serious about the business, but, and I click inactives again, it brings them all back up. You don't even have to worry about cancel because they're not even part of business anymore. It runs through them like electricity. It's just like that spot never existed. And uh, so that's why I say just don't even fool with it. Uh, now, what you're going to do is one of the other things real quick that I want to do and show you is I'm, I want everybody in my downline. I want to start there and then I want to click off inactive. I want only actives because these are people that are already active and I'm going to ask this a question. Now I could go down this long list, but I'd rather ask the question. The computer does the work for me. I say, who, is going to become inactive soon. Right there, who will become inactive soon? Bingo. Now, here's my work list. Okay, I'm looking on the right side only right now. And now I got my work list going down. And typically, if you look at, there's Thomas. Okay, it tells me the last time he was active was March 11th, so that means April the 11th, okay. So he's on a countdown to actually becoming inactive, okay? And how do I know that? Because right there, tonight, at this computer run tonight, zero a day, there are no more days. He will go inactive. He will not lose his points, they stay, but he will no longer accumulate another point in this counter. He's inactive. Inactive means you can't collect points. You can't collect dollars, okay? So if he doesn't uh, buy his coin, well, let's see if he's scheduled. Nope, you see his auto saver? Zero, he's not scheduled. He's not on auto saver, okay? So right there, auto saver total, zero, okay? So let's take Shanique. Zero tonight, same situation. Zero. Okay, so we have some sponsor. We have some sponsor upline 
communication that needs to take place. Either that per that person may not even know. Their credit card may, they may have gotten a new credit card. They just not used to going in and putting a new credit card. They say, I already got my credit card in Subgate. No, not if you received a new issue. It may have the same number, may have everything the same except the exp expiration date. Bingo, that card, the old card is no longer valid. And so it can't charge on it. Okay. So this is what we use this for. Now, like these people, they go inactive. We got time before they actually go inactive. Okay. Now I can do inactives, but they're already inactive. So that's why I just look at greens. Okay. Now I want to go back and I want to say, uh, all my downline and I'm, I'm just looking at one side, but it applies to both sides. You, and you want to do it to both sides, but I'm in the illustration. I'm only going to show one side and talk about one side. So I'm going to click on inactive again, because I want everybody. And now I'm going to ask who's going to lose their points. Now I see it right here for Azel Fernandez, but I want just the people who are going to lose their points, flush their points soon on my screen. So I don't, I, I, I can focus and concentrate on just that segment of the business. And so, you know, it's going to start, we got four days to communicate. And, you know, these people did, do not have a lot of points. Now, Sherry, she got 90 and 2000. Now, now she may not want to lose those points and her sponsor may not want her to lose those points, you know, but these people have zero and a hundred. Eh, they aren't going to be too motivated to, to be, they may be using these as like me control centers or active centers. Okay. That, that, that be me. Okay. And so, Maybe they are interested or not, but I still give them a call, okay? And because especially if they got some significant points in their account, if they got significant points, I'm definitely calling because that they're giving away money. I mean, just throwing it down the tubes if they lose their points instead of buying their coin. So I'm gonna go back to both sides. And then uh, one, of the, one of the other things that I really use this for is because, you know, if you don't have your tree, your structure, you say, well, you know, I don't know who, who does what, when does what, you know, uh, who is renewing, I mean, well, we did hear in renewing, so it's not who in renewing, it's who just joined, who recently, no, who, Somewhere in here is who, oh, who recently enrolled. I got to get used to the language. Me, it's who just joined. <laughs> okay. Really cool segment here. Now, you, you do it side by side. Never do all of it together. Okay. So I'm going to go to the right side. Then I'll go look at my left side because I want to know who joined. Okay. I want to I I know who. Okay. Who, who, where did Go Team Monk come? Well, Nathan Monk sponsored Go Team Monk, okay? And it came in with a standard, okay? So I don't need, I know Nathan, so I know I don't need to go congratulating and visiting with Go Team Monk and congrat and welcome them to the 17, 7K team. Uh, I have regular conversations with uh, Nathan, so I already know I don't need to. And so, uh, Liza Salanus two, Liza Salanus, uh oh, that must be a Liza Salanus one. Sounds like a, a family business pack to me. <laughs> and so I know who I need to contact right here. And Golden Boys three, uh, CC LLC, uh, Richard Mandrino uh, sponsored Liza. And so I already talked to uh, Richard and Liza today. And so welcome into the group. And then we got Winston Hyatt. Winston Hyatt came in with a family business pack. It looks like uh, Richard Mandrino is heading to be copper real soon, uh, if not copper already. And so 
uh, how do I know? Because he came in with a business family pack and he's got two people who just joined one on the left, one on his right. They gave him a business family pack. That makes him a copper. <laughs> how about that? Okay. Now, uh, we go down the line and, and we, we see the new low enrollees and that's what we use it for. Now, new enrollees are very important. Wow. No wonder all them points went up so quick. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, these can't be new, right? Because they're about to lose their points. Okay. It goes from the newest to the oldest of everybody in your group. So it just keeps on going down there because I didn't put any any limitations on it, y'all. Nah, so everybody didn't just join today. So I was, you got to have a little fun with this sometimes, right? Okay. Next main question that I use here, and it's very important when let's say you lost your rank, but you don't know why. Now, I told you, you got to look at those personals first and then you, you search through it. But another one good thing to use there is who recently changed ranks. And so if you already know in your head, you know, who's a bronze, who's a silver, who's a copper, who's that, and then you look and see who changed ranks and you get to see their name and what their rank is. And it tells you when they change the rank. Like Trinell, she became a copper again, pay period, pay wise, seven hours ago. Hey, Trinell, congratulations. Man, you're doing a business. Yep, you, you and your team are just pulling on through and you're back, back on track, even with coronavirus. Okay. And so Nathan. He just became an associate. We did a three-way with him in a Zoom yesterday with Danny, Tiffany, Clement, and Nathan. And uh, uh, and and so he's excited. His, his, his wife joined the business with him. They got a team going, and it looks like they're, they're uh, ready to really get rock and roll up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, and so there's our dear friend, Richard Witt. Okay, he became an associate again 19 hours ago. Congratulations, Richard. That means you're getting close to another paycheck right there, my friend. And that's a good thing to know. Okay, got to be an associate to make a paycheck. And that's right on the prefaces of doing it right there. Look, and uh, uh, so as we look down the list, it's that you're not involving yourself you're not being bit this is your team everybody is part of your team you want people to be successful and but the key is i want to be there to help them if they need me you want to be there to help them if they need you uh but you can also find out if liza was important to my rank to be an associate and now she's unranked there's, I know where my problem is. Okay, so tools to use. And, and for those of you that can't see the structure, you can actually draw your entire structure out with this tool. Who sponsored who, which side they're on. And I'll show you, I'll give you a little hint of how that goes. And I'm gonna go back to who did I sponsor? Okay, let's go back. Who are my personal enrollees? Now, Pamela is my silver on my right side. So I sponsored her. So, you know, maybe she fell out and she's a bronze. I want to find out, whoa, why? Well, I don't have to go ask Pamela if I can get in her. You can see everybody's back office in your own back office. How? Well, I click on Pamela. I say explore as Pamela's downline. I click on that link right there. Now, there she is, not me. I just have her left and right. It's only her organization, okay? And then I look at it and say, well, who's her leaders, okay? We go down and we say, where's the leader? Because there's your rank, okay? Now, we look at the right side. Now, she's got to have a bronze over there. If there's no bronze, I know where the problem is, okay? But she's got her bronze. She's got, and she's got coppers and she's got, well, she's fine. But, but it's not who's on that side. It's who she personally sponsored. So you go, who did she, now I'm getting down to brass tacks. Okay. 
Well, she's got enough actives to be a silver, one, two, three, four, five. That's not a problem. They're all active, they're all green, okay? She's got a bronze, that's a problem, not a problem, that's what she needs. How about on her left side? She got a bronze somewhere over here? Well, we don't know, let's go who she personally sponsored, okay? Oh, ho, 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 yep. And so she's fixing to have a, a bronze and a silver again. So she's fine. She didn't fall in right, but Wayne did. So I was helping Wayne. Now we, oh, well, there's what Wayne wants to know why. And so now he, we go to Wayne, we took, pull Wayne up and we say, okay, who you personally sponsor? And there he is. And we say, okay, you got your personal. Let's look on the right side. Okay, do you have do you have a bronze? Oh, you got you got a silver. Oh, that that's you don't even have to worry about your right side. Let's go over your left side. What happened? What happened? Where's our problem? Ah, there's our problem. Jeremy fell to copper. Okay, and but Brooke. Now she's got four and four. He's got three and two. Looks like oh Brooke. Brooke's the one coming on strong. Looks like she's about to be caught. That's where we got to focus our energy is with Brooke, that little 18 year old copper. Whoa. Yeah. That's who we, that's who we focus it on. And so we look at her and we say, well, she's got a copper. Does she have a copper anywhere on her left and her right? Uh, does she, does she, man, she's already got a copper on her left. Oh, who's she going to have a copper on her right? We get her to copper you back to silver. Okay. You see how that works? It's just that simple, okay? And that is the downline explorer of the business. And it's launching, again, it takes a little time. I meant to close this. I wanna log out, because I wanna show you real quick. I'm gonna go into Pamela, and again, show you what we were talking about, PJR. And I wanna show y'all, something that's really neat y'all backspace p j r there we are there we go now look here everybody pamela's a silver so you gotta have five actors on left five actors on right and her maximum check is what 3500 guess what she's doing she got more points than she needs for a 3500 dollar check Everybody, our business exploded. And this is all going to happen to every one of you. I'm 73 years old. I don't sponsor a whole lot of people. Have y'all seen that? It's helping people sponsor helping people. Helping people say that you need to you need to change your life financially. And we got a team to help you do it. And I want to introduce you to our team. And that's what your jobs are. And I'm part of your team. And Pamela's going to throw, I, this is going to keep growing. This is just Thursday evening. And I know Brooke's going to become a bronze before this, this, this Saturday night. I, I mean, she's, she, she's, She's got her head down, fingers on the phone, texting, calling. <laughs> her mama's in competition with her now. <laughs> got a little family competition going on. Her, her mama was supporting her and now she's building. And, and her mama's you know, already become a copper. <laughs> and she's, she, 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 she says she's gonna get to bronze before Brooke does. I said, I got a little family competition going. And I think Brooke went to dad and said, dad, you know, mama's done in competition with me and I sponsored her. I want you to help me get to, and you know, some people, you help me with your people, you know, and tell them to support my team. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun, y'all. And, uh, you know, same thing happens with Pamela. You look, you can look at her business and what she's making. And, you know, when you add both of our checks together and you say, that's $8,500 or, nine thousand or even ten thousand this week that's a pretty pretty hefty little 
nice extra check, you know? And so you add the money I was making, add the money she's making, and uh, Lord be, we're averaging more than $20,000 a month now in, in this year. And so it's a Lord's blessing, and we're only three and a half years old, and it's time that we all start, you know, understanding this next three to five years. That's what I, I've always taught. You can build a big business. Now, you may have half of your business already built. But all you do is, it doesn't matter when, but one day, like Holly's so nice, but when she finds that one person or she finds a person who leads to a person, who leads to a person, and that person starts making $500 check a week, Holly's going to make a $1,000 check a week for the rest of her life because she doesn't have to worry about her left side. It's done. And there's many other people like that. Or if you're on a leg with you and your partner, like Scott and Richard and their part where they're building their leg together and they, they're going to team up and they're going to take advantage of things. And they're, they're going to build a team and their, their, that leg is going to build. And that same promise is what they offer to their teammates as they're building a team. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to say, welcome to 7K and welcome to the income opportunity of your life. And if you have just joined 7K and you're looking at this two or three months from now, just remember the same thing can happen to you because we got the rest of the United States to open up in and we got the rest of the world to open up in the global expansion. 7K will be the Amazon of the gold and silver market as Amazon was to the retail world. You can mark that, you can put it down, you can put it down as a Bob Reed quote because I was the first person to introduce it uh, to Richard on the call because that's what I see in this company. God bless you, see you all on the top. We'll have a question and answer session.